Hi guys, welcome back to Homemade Food Junkie. Today we are making an easy skillet dinner. It's kind of what we like to call an unstuffed cabbage roll dinner. So it's really low carb, it has lots of fiber from the cabbage, it will fill you up, and you can throw this together in 30 minutes. So let's get started. We are going to begin by putting a couple tablespoons of olive oil into a very high sided pan. You can either use a Dutch oven or a skillet with three inch sides like I'm using here. And we just want to brown about a pound of ground beef. I also like to season it with salt and pepper. The next thing we are going to do is slice up one large sweet onion to add to this dish. And we are going to dice up a orange bell pepper into small pieces. Next, we are going to add the bell pepper and the onion into that skillet that we used to cook the ground beef. Now we are going to cut our cabbage. I like to cut it kind of in these long ribbon pieces as you see here, and you are going to want one large head of cabbage. Once the onion and bell pepper are softened, we are going to add the ground beef back into the dish. Next, add one 15 ounce can of fire roasted diced tomatoes and give it all a stir. We are going to begin seasoning. I like to use a couple tablespoons of paprika, about a teaspoon of onion powder, a teaspoon of garlic powder, a half a teaspoon of salt, and a half a teaspoon of pepper, along with two tablespoons of Italian seasoning. And then we're just going to add that cabbage right back on top of the dish. Once all the cabbage is in the pan, go ahead and pop the lid on. We are going to simmer this on low for 15 to 20 minutes until that cabbage is nice and tender. The final step is to add about a cup to a cup and a half of shredded cheese. I like to use a cheddar and jack cheese combination. And that is it. You just pop the lid back on and let that cheese get melty and delicious before you serve. And that is the unstuffed cabbage roll dinner. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really hope you make this recipe. If you do, please let me know how you liked it down below. Otherwise, please like and subscribe and we will see you next time at Homemade Food Junkie. Bye-bye.